Before the earliest work, I worked predominantly in black and white and with geometric forms. The major form was usually a triangle or a right angle. I really wanted to eliminate, at least temporarily, color and really function on what the geometric forms could do, compositionally and spatially. Orca was the largest painting I ever did. I mean, it was nine feet high by 27 feet long. I wanted to see what a really big triangle would do. I wanted to see what a triangle that related more to the size of a human being, whether I could figure out some way of relating more physically to the painting. Deposit had a lot of history to it. The triangles never seemed to be in the right place. So I was constantly painting them out. And the more I painted them out, the more light the painting seemed to have. But I could never visualize myself as a hard edge painter. It was pretty much the way a lot of people were going at the time. But I felt that I wanted to find some way of relating the geometry to the ground around it. So I was constantly eating into the triangles and eating into the right angles. And I finally ate in them so much that they went out the other end. <laughs> To paint, you have to recognize yourself as part of nature. I don't begin any painting with any definite thought, oh, this is going to be about this, or it's going to be about that. Whatever it is, it evolves really through the process. Putting something down, looking at it, responding to it, altering it, moving it. At some point, something will happen that talks to me, and then I respond to it and then it will indicate something else, and I'll respond to that, and then eventually it's there. It's got its own identity. I look at it and it has that unpredictability. It has a presence, it has a physicality. Rather than being a picture of objects, the painting becomes an object itself. When a painting's done, you don't know how you even did it. It's like you weren't even in the room when it got done. Drawing really helps me to find the underlying structure of the painting, but drawing can also get in the way too, because if I want to have forms move into other forms, the line can stop the form from moving, rather it tends to delineate it. But a painting is really, for me, it's made out of paint, it's not made out of line. But somehow they feed each other. Well, color for me is the way you bring light into a painting. So I think I just tried to work with colors that emanated light. Putting something down, wash it out. Sometimes in the process of taking out, a color would happen. And I wanted to make them bright just in contrast to the paintings I had been doing before. Well, I think when a painting's really there, it's almost like you've touched the universe. I mean, you become part of these incredible relationships, and the relationships can be very small, but they all finally end up going into the stratosphere and into the galaxies. It's, it's inexplicable. And that's the way a painting should be for me. It's inexplicable. <laughs>